Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss linearity property of Laplace transform. Yes, we know that derivative and integral are the linear operators that means they satisfies linearity property. That means for derivative we can write if we have sum of two functions f of x and g of s we can operate this derivative separately on these two functions that means we can write derivative of f of x plus derivative of this g of x right yes that means this derivative is a linear operator right same here we have to check that laplace transform is linear operator or not so let's proceed for this is yes if a and b are a constants and f of t and g of t are two functions having laplace transform f of s and g of s then we can write laplace of a into f of t plus b into g of t is equals to a into f of s plus b into g of s that means laplace transform of combination of two functions is equal to the combination of their laplace transform right that means this is here we have a into laplace of f of t plus b into this laplace of g of t right that means we can operate this laplace on this combination of two functions then we will get combination of their laplace right so yes now here we have to check this property here so here we have given this f of t and g of t are functions having this laplace so f of t having laplace this is f of s and g of t having this laplace g of s right yes so what is the definition of laplace transform yes we can write for this f of t yes this is integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t right same for g of t we can write this is here yes now we have to find laplace of a into f of t plus b into g of t yes we have to apply definition of laplace transform on this function so here we have laplace of a into f of t plus b into g of t yes here we have to apply the definition of laplace transform so here we have integral of e raised to minus st to this complete function so here we have a into f of t plus b into g of t yes we can separately apply integral on this function so here we have e raised to minus st a into f of t right and then we can apply integral on this function with this e raised to minus st yes we have multiplied by this e raised to minus st and at the same time we have applied this integral on these two functions now we can take this a constant this is outside to this integral yes and same b here b is a constant since this integral is with respect to t right now we can check that what is this yes here we have yes this is the laplace of f of t and this is the laplace of g of t yes so here we have to write this is laplace of f of t yes and this is b into laplace of what is this laplace of g of t right so what we got here when we operate laplace on combination of two functions yes we get 
this is a into f of s plus b into g of s this is b here so what is the meaning of this statement here this is laplace of linear combination of two functions is equals to the linear combination of their laplace right in simple words that means we can operate this laplace transform separately on this functions right so yes this can be generalized to n number of functions now we have to take one example to clear this linearity property so here yes if we have to find laplace of this combination of functions so what we have to do yes by linearity property yes we have to operate this laplace separately on this function so here we have to operate this laplace separately on this function so here we have laplace of e raised to minus 4t minus laplace of 3t square then laplace of this sine of h 4t right yes and again this is 4 constant so we can take this is outside same here we have 3 constants so here we have laplace of t square and here this is as it is right okay now we know what is the laplace of e raised to t so this is 4 as it is and e raised to t laplace this is 1 upon s minus 1 this is 3 as it is laplace of t square this is what this is gamma of 2 plus 1 upon this is s cube plus laplace of sine h 4 t so what is here this is a upon this is s square minus 4 square right so this is the laplace of this required function right next if we have to find laplace of this sine square t yes what we have to write here how to find laplace of this is here yes we know laplace of sine t cos t right we know the laplace of elementary functions right but we don't know laplace of sine square t that means we have to write sine square t in terms of elementary functions of which we know the laplace right so sine square t we can write this is as a 1 minus cos of twice t by 2 yes we know this is here so that means we can write sine square t as this is and we can find laplace of this function so here yes we can write this is laplace of 1 minus cos of 2t by 2 yes by this formula now we can take this is 1 by 2 outside and laplace of 1 minus cos of twice t so here 1 by 2 this is constant laplace of 1 yes this is 1 by s and cos 2t laplace this is s upon s square plus 4 right so yes we have find laplace of sine square t by using linearity property Yes, we have to write down sine square t in terms of elementary functions, right? So, yes, in this way we can find Laplace of, if we have function like this is, if we have to find sine cube t Laplace, then cos square t Laplace, if we have to find Laplace of cos twice t into sine of 3t, yes, we have to use the linearity property that means we have to write down this functions in terms of elementary functions right so here we have cos twice t into sin 3t yes so we have to use the defactorization formula so that we can write this cos into sin in terms of sum or subtraction of cos or sin right so by this way we have to find the laplace of such functions so yes in this way we have discussed linearity property and we have checked that this Laplace transform is linear operator right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching